Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio, and welcome back to Thursday, where we're at answering our Tech Tuesday questions. And what we pondered on Tuesday was, what are all the different ways to connect your portable digital audio players to your home systems? Now, we carry three brands because we like the different sound signatures of each one, and they cover a wide gamut uh, for the customer base. So we've got Sony on the warm side, the iBasos on the neutral side, and Astle and Kern's on the more analytical side. Obviously, Astle and Kern has a bunch of different DAC chips that can change the tonality slightly via a little bit of warmth with the AK chips or a little more analytical with the Saber. But we're just going to say the Astle and Kern's are on the analytical side. So what are the best ways to connect your players? So it really depends on a lot of different things. First of all, are we going to do single-ended or balanced analog? Are we going to do digital to a DAC and let a DAC take over the D to A conversion? And, and all of these questions are, there is no right or wrong, right? It just depends on your equipment, what you want to do, and a little bit of experimenting. So right here, I've got an Astral and Kern player. And you will see that I've got two different connectors here. This is a 3.5 and a 2.5. Now, why do I have these two connectors here? So if we are going to use balanced analog output, Moon Audio has to build a cable for you that will utilize uh, on older Astral and Kerns that don't have the new 4.4 and only have the 2.5 and the 3.5, we've got to do a dual connector system. And the reason we do this for is because the 2.5 connector does not have a ground connection. So this is used for the four poles of balanced audio, and then we do a little dog tail of a 3.5 to ground your cable. Now, why do we do that grounding? Because if we only did a 2.5 to XLRs for your balanced system, it is, there's a very good chance that you're going to get some hum out of it because we're not grounding this device to the system. Thank you, Sony, for developing the new 4.4 millimeter TRRRS balance connector. With that connector now, we have a balance connection. I mean, a ground connection, sorry. We have a balance connection with a ground pole on it. So there's now four connectors and... Sony was the first company to come out with that 4.4 millimeter connection. So in this case, when we're going to an XLR cable, the ground is covered, we're taken care of, and you're not going to have any hum issues. Now, let's say you don't have balanced connections. Well, then you don't want to use a balanced connector on one end to RCAs on the other. There's no point in doing that because we're going to end up tying grounds together on each channel, and that can cause problems. So if you don't have XLRs on your uh, home system, let's just go with a mini to RCA cable. Now, with the new Astle and Current players, like this SE180, uh, this now has the 4.4. So if asked which way would I go, a 4.4 or a 2.5 and a 3.5, from a sound standpoint, there is no difference. But a single connector is going to be a lot easier to deal with and, and, and less cluttery, if you will. Okay. So we've also got, with all of these players, digital outputs. And each one has a different type of digital output. This is an iBaso DX300, and it's got a coax digital output, and we make a mini Black Dragon coax digital cable to connect to your DAC. And I really like the way SB diff or, uh, uh, mini coax sounds on this player. Um, not, all, uh, not all players out there have this option. Most of them either have well, all of them, in most cases, have a USB digital output. Some of them in the Astral and Kern line, and not all of them in the Astral and Kern line, have a combo connector where you're using the 3.5 headphone jack and a Toslink mini connector like this. And so you use that combo output to output Toslink digital. But not all the Astral and Kerns have that. I'm not a big fan of Toslink. I don't like the way it sounds in most cases. It all comes down to the circuit again. No right or wrong. It depends on how things are implemented in your DAC or in the circuit of this player, which is going to sound better. In most cases, I'm using a USB digital output from these players. And in this case with the Astral and Kern, we're using USB-C and we're going to a B connection for a DAC. Why do I use the USB? Does it sound better? Again, depends on the system, depends on the circuit, but the reason I use USB a lot is I have a ton of DSD audio. And so you can only transfer in most devices DSD audio over a USB cable. But like I said, back to the iBaso, I really like the way this digital output sounds. So this is one player and the new DX240 that have digital coax outputs 
If you've got that option on your DAC and you like the, the sound implementation of that, I would go with one of these players. If your DAC only has USB, then you can go with just about any of these players, except for maybe Sony. Sony uses a proprietary dock connector, and this is not a connector that Sony will allow us to have. They do have a couple of dongles that you can buy, unfortunately only on Amazon. We can't get these in the US, but this one's a dongle to a mini plug so you can output analog audio, but we can't make custom uh, dongles for this player. And it's analog anyway output, so you might as well just get one out of the 3.5 or 4.4. So as you can see, there are a ton of different options on how to get audio out of your portable player and into your devices. If you're confused and have questions and don't know which is the best option for you with your DAC or your stereo system, shoot us an email at the contact us form on any one of our web pages and we'll get back to you and help you with the best choice possible. Do a little bit, bit of experimenting. Do analog output and digital output. See which sounds better to you. In some cases, the DAC might be better in the DAP or in some cases, the DAC might be better in your DAC at home. So hope we've been giving you a little insight into some of these connections and see you next Tuesday for another installment of Tech Tuesday. Make sure to subscribe to Moon Audio.